West, out, 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 west. What's up, sun seeds? What's up? This your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is, sun seeds, for this message to resonate. Just please make sure you're using discernment, take what resonate, and leave the rest behind. Sun seeds. Um, I haven't used this deck in a while. You're just going to pull um, some random cards and just see, see whatever comes out. Oh, but look, Sunseeds. Yeah, we got a little... Sunseeds. I found this bell yesterday outside. I'm like... Outside behind my house, I have a lake, right? And when I tell you, this was just like literally... I mean, soon as I looked down, I'm like... Because I was on my way leaving. Soon as I looked down, I'm like, what the heck is this? And it's a bell. And it's, and it's weird because a minute ago I was saying, you know, I'm going to get a bell. I'm going to get a bell, but I never got it. Yeah, I found this. I'm my house at the lake. I'm like, wow. So, yeah, we're going to use this. Mm -hmm. So, hurt your ears, close your ears. <laughs> Cover your ears. <laughs> yes, sunsees, I love it. On my little nature walk. I love the trees. I love the water. If I don't have nothing to do that day, like far as no running around or anything in particular, if you want to find me, you can find me by some trees and some water. <laughs> yep. And I think it probably has a part of it like I'm like my actual my real name is I'm named after a tree. My godmother Kim, she named me after a tree. A really beautiful, very big tree. So, I love some big trees and some wild. But sun sees enough about me chatting. Let's get into this reading. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, divine. My ancestors of the highest white light. My spirit guides, my holy angel. Archangel Michael, please protect me while I channel the energy for the collective sun seeds. Anything other than the highest white light, please close and shut that door. Holy Spirit, give me some messages for the collective sun seeds from this deck. What are the most important messages you want them to know? Let's see. Holy Spirit. It's called the dating game. Mm -hmm. It's called the dating game. So it says, speak with love and ex speak with love and acceptance when talking about past relationships. Hmm. So okay, so spirit is saying, okay, if it's someone you're interested in, or you know, um, you know, you're currently dating. Or you're thinking about getting back out there in the dating game. Or, you know, perhaps when you, you meet someone. Spirit is saying, um, speak with love and acceptance when talking about past relationships. So, I, um, I'm i feeling like spirit just doesn't want you to focus on, like, if something went wrong in your past relationship, like, if it was negative. Spirit doesn't want you to focus on speaking about that um, when you're dealing with someone new. It says, speak with love and acceptance, you know, talking about past relationships. And I think that is awesome because sometimes people, when you tell them everything that you've been through in your past relationships and you're thinking, you know, they're a good ear, you know, you could confine in them. Sometimes, you know, throughout the line, people use that against you. Okay. <laughs> Spirit said, get a little sexy. <laughs> get a little sexy. What's this? Date, date, date. Wow. <laughs> wow. Spirit is saying get sexy. Okay. When y'all getting out there, y'all need to get sexy. Okay. Don't be like Mystic Sunflower now. If I ain't going nowhere, if I ain't got nothing planned, I ain't going in my closet. Okay. Other than that, you're going to catch me with some joggers, a cute little graphic tee. Okay. A bundle. You know, my bundle. Mm hmm. You know, my little bundles, if I got my weave in, or my natural hair, you know, a bun to the back. 
where my pretty baby is. <laughs> and my big bamboo earrings. But Spirit is saying, get a little sexy. Somebody can have a beautiful shape. Show off your curves. Show a little bit. Stop covering up. Spirit said, get a little sexy and date, date. Somebody need to get out there. <laughs> get out there, okay? I'm getting like... <sighs> dress as if you about to you about to just run into your person. Like, that's how Spirit wanted to be. So, Spirit is saying, you know... Um, when you leave out your door, dress as if you're going to meet, you know, your, your, your divine counterpart, you know, mm -hmm. even if you don't meet them today, dress as if you, you're going to meet them. Cause you never know who's watching, who's looking mm. under the bottom. It says, who <laughs> Ah, it says, let him think he's in control. Mm -hmm. So, Spirit is saying, let him think he's in control. Mm -hmm. And every man wants to feel in control. I mean, I mean, that's just self explanatory Though you guys should already know that already. Um, you know, the man is the the man leads. You know, the man a man always wants to feel needed or in control. You know, um. Even if you probably know a little bit more or you, you feel like, you know, mm, I could do something and, you know, a little better. Uh-uh. We ain't, you ain't doing it. You you have to let the man feel he, he's in control. Okay? If he don't feel he's in control or needed, he doesn't feel like a man. And I don't know why I'm hearing needed because it says let him think he's in control. So, I guess spirit is putting emphasis on that. Somebody, need, he needs to feel needed as well. Maybe you can do everything on your own. Um, but this is not, this is, this is not that with this man. <clears throat> wow. Spirit is saying, have some fun and enjoy the dating experience. So if you're talking to someone, if you're currently dating someone, um, spirit is saying, it's giving me like, when you know, when you dating, don't date with um don't, when you date and don't expect anything don't be looking at this person like i know i'm gonna marry this person i know i'll be with this person for the rest of my life i know this my you know my person forever like no spirit is saying date and have fun you know but some of you guys you know you never even dated you know because you was always in always in was in relationships you know always was tied down with someone so you know this might be new for you but spirit is saying don't date this don't date someone thinking like you know just don't expect nothing don't ex you know looking at it like oh this is my forever i know i'm going to be with this person forever for the no spirit is saying have some fun enjoy the dating experience you might need to get their behind out there <laughs> somebody could like somebody likes to have fun Somebody is going to bring somebody out their show. Mm -hmm. So you and this person could be like the complete opposite. You know, this person could be like shy, a nerd, and you could be the one who likes to have fun. You could be the life of the party. Yeah. Or you could be like shy or like a nerd and you're going to meet somebody who's like the life of the party who likes to like, you know, have fun. Spirit say enjoy it. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Spirit said, politely express your truth with a smile. Don't sugarcoat anything. Mm, so be open. And Spirit is saying, politely <laughs> express your truth with a smile and don't sugarcoat anything. So don't sugarcoat anything. If you feel any type of way, keep it 100. Keep it 100, okay? Let a person know, okay? Let a person know how you feel. Always speak your truth so a person can't say you never told them anything. Spirit say don't sugarcoat anything. Don't go around a bush. Be direct. But also, you know, be polite. You know how you say things. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Give me more, Holy Spirit. Stand by him and support him. Sis. Sis, stand by your man and support him and whatever. Okay. Okay, stand by your man and support him and whatever. Okay, 
long as the right thing. <laughs> Let me clear that up. <laughs> Stand by him and support him. I'm here and respect his vision. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even if even if you don't even know where, where, where it's going, you know, if it's his vision, just trust your man and support him. Okay? Have his back. Stand by his side. Period. <laughs> Give me more Holy Spirit. Oh, stroke his ego a little. Mm. <laughs> Spirit is saying stroke his ego a little. You want him but don't need him. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Somebody could definitely... um. Maybe you used to being single for a while, you know? Um, you know? Um, maybe you used to being by yourself and doing things on your own. But you don't have to do that anymore. You can you can allow this man to come in and take control. Um, let your hair down. That's what I'm getting. Let your hair down. Well, I'm here. somebody could think they know it all. Mm hmm. I don't know. That's what I'm picking up. Somebody could think they know it all. They could be. They could think that they know more than this person. No, let this person think they know it all. Allow somebody else to take the lead. Yeah. I don't want to do this for. I love to let a man take the lead. Mm hmm. I love it. I don't listen. I listen. Do you, boo? And but I damn sure ain't gonna let you lead me into no brick wall now. And that's a whole nother story. But we ain't go to that. But, um, mm -mm. Spirit is saying you want him but don't need him. And that's cool. But allow your, your, your partner to come in and help you and, you know, assist you and lead. Yeah. Stand by his side. You ain't got to be in the front. You know? It says, let him know what's up. Give him some of his own medicine. Wow. So let him know what's up. Give him some of his own medicine. Mm. <laughs> um, so if this is somebody who, you know, why you date, if you dating this person, you know, that you, you texting, you talking on the phone today and you know, and then you don't hear from him the next day and you know and you don't know what's up or whatever um i mean i would say check and see you know because anything could be wrong you know check to make sure everything okay but if you if you feel like this person is getting distance or they acting funny spirit is saying get him get him a, um, a taste of their own medicine you know it says let him know what's up give him some of his own medicine so if they think you're going to chase them or they play hard to get, I mean, just match their energy, you know? Match their energy. <clears throat> Spirit is saying not all men are dogs. And that's a fact. That's a big fact. <laughs> yes. I know that. That is a, that's a fact. Not men, all men are dogs. No, they're not. <laughs> yes. Give me more. Give me more Holy Spirit. Show him your best qualities. So show him your best qualities. <laughs> I'm mean, show him what you made of, Grop. <laughs> What's this? Communication. Communication. I'm sorry. Communicate in a way that can be heard and understood. The spirit is saying communicate in a way that can be heard and understood. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Um, you know, um, you know, speak kindly, speak politely. Um, you don't have to, um, uh, no bass in your voice, you know, a um, lot of eye contact. Um, I just, I, I'm big on like the tone of your voice, you know, when, when you're trying to communicate with someone or you're trying to get them to understand you because you, you could be definitely um, got a good point, you know what you're saying, but if the bass in your voice stand a little off, Ain't nobody going to want to listen to you. Mm -mm. I don't want to hear you, you know? Yeah. 
So Spirit is saying communicate in a way that can be heard and understood. Spirit said don't let sexual energy cloud your mental. Okay. Don't let sexual energy cloud your mental. So what that is giving me... Um, This deck ain't coming no book. So intuitively, I'm picking up. Don't let your sex that don't let sexual energy cloud your mental. It's like, um, so if you you know, if you and this person, you know, don't got it, got it in or whatever, and it might be good. Spirit is saying, don't let that go. Don't 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 let the other stuff, don't let certain stuff go over your head just because the sexual energy is popping, you know? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't have, don't have that. Got your head in the clouds where you know you ignore his uh, flags and you you know you're not speaking up for yourself. All right. <laughs> I cannot make it up. Pay attention to the red flags. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Divine. Yeah, don't don't be letting that 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 um don't be letting that um y'all know what I'm talking about. Cloud your damn um cloud your um your mental. Uh-uh. Cause that's what some people would do. Yeah. They come in and you know. Put it down on you, and, and then once they think they put it down on you, they think they can, they, you know, slide and slide and ice. No, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, 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 no. That's just a bonus. Yes, yeah, spirit. Look at this. Spirit said, "Be a challenge. Be a challenge." Hmm. Some people like a challenge, and some people don't. I know for me, I love a challenge. I don't like I don't like things that's easy, cause I feel like everybody got have it. <laughs> yeah, spirit said be a challenge. So thank you, spirit. Spirit said don't make it easy. Don't make it easy. I I. Bring on, Holy Spirit. Mm. Let him lead, provide, and hunt. You, yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, Lordy. <laughs> so uh, Spirit said, let him lead, provide, and hunt. Yes, Lordy. Go and do your thing, boo. Do your thing. <laughs> I just heard, Rick. I just heard you won't be able to keep your hands off of him. <laughs> no, Mr. The, the packs on the stomach. I don't, I don't, I just heard you ain't going to be able to keep your hands off me. So somebody, your face sexy. Okay. Give me more. Give me more, Holy Spirit. I just heard you ain't going to be able to keep your hands off of him. Yes, this is my favorite. Be mysterious. Be mysterious. Yes. I'm telling you, baby, don't make it easy. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to figure you out. Uh-huh. Don't make it easy. Don't make it easy, mommy. <laughs> so what the hell I come? Somebody could be um could be Spanish. Could be dating someone Spanish. <laughs> I just said don't make it easy, mommy. Um like him for his personality and he will naturally give you his wallet. Okay. I mean, that's how it should be anyway, right? So Spirit has said like him for his personality, and he will naturally give you his wallet. Okay. <laughs> give me more Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Thank you. Be careful of the manipulator. So, yeah, don't dismiss the red flags. Be careful of a manipulator. Mm -hmm. Be careful of anybody trying to gaslight you. That's why I said... With this card right here, let him let him um let him think he's in control. Even if you feel like uh uh like you know you could you you know you could handle the situation better than this, you know, than he can. Spirit is saying let him think he's in control, you know. Um just have his back and support him. But what I also said is don't be letting nobody lead you into no goddamn wall, okay? Now, you know, now we're going to have to stop the car. We're going to have to pull over. You know, I bet you're going to have to get in the patch side. I got to get in the driver's side because, I, you know, I, I, I was all for you. But you about to land us on, you know, <laughs> somewhere we might not want to be. You know, um, 
Yeah, spirit is saying, you know, just be careful of manipulators, you know, people just trying to gaslight you or lead you, you know, in the wrong direction just to get what they want. Okay, don't make it easy for this person, you know, um, definitely give this person a challenge, but also, um, don't make it, you know, don't make it hard, you know, just don't make it, you know, easy, um, just don't make it easy allowing someone to just get into your energy like that. Or, you know, just to get you like that, you know, in order to, you know, to date you, you know. Make them feel at home. So Spirit is saying make them feel at home. But a lot of my Divine Feminists, you guys are naturally um, very nurturing. And, you know, have that um, motherly love about you. Whether you have kids or you don't, um, some of you guys are just naturally like that. You know, been like that all your life. Um, yeah, make this person feel at home. Make them feel relaxed. Like, when they're around you, um, you know, just always be a vibe. You know, relax. What's the, um, what was that song? Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. On the young girls with a pink. Just kick it. Yeah. Just make this person feel relaxed. You know, be a vibe. You know, be mad chill, you know? Because, you know, dating somebody, yeah, you know, when you're dating somebody, you're getting to know somebody and you're building with them and seeing how things go. But you also want to make it, you know, you want it to be comfortable, not just for them, but for you as well. You know, you want to be you want to, uh, you want it to be comfortable where, you know, you want to be around someone, you know? And the best person to be around is someone who makes you feel at home, you know? You know, someone who listens to you, someone who give you, like, this warmth energy around them that makes you feel safe. I just seen 2202. Yeah. It says, show him love. Show him, um, show him some love and give him compliments. Yes. This is a fact, Sunsee. Just as much as, as women love compliments, ooh, bo listen, men love compliments too, okay? 22, 22. Yes, especially if you find a man, like, you know how some men that be trying to act all serious all the time? Oh, man, I, listen, listen, I will get you to show me all them teeth. I want to see every last teeth, and I pray that they pretty, because <laughs> mine's on. <laughs> No, I'm just I'm keeping I'm keeping it real though. Um, sun seeds. No, like you know how them men be trying to act all serious. Like you know sometimes like they don't be you know you could tell what a man don't really smell a lot. Me? Oh hell no! I I I I, I make you feel. Mm mm. I want to see all teeth. You know, constantly giving compliments. Um, you know, you know supporting them. You know, letting them know what's up. Like you know, men like compliments. They like to feel good about themselves. They like to. You know, have that reassurance that they doing the right thing or they on the right path, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, Sussy. Spirit is saying, show him some love and give him compliments. Give a man a compliment. Especially the ones that don't that, that don't be expecting it or whatever. Or, or that's not use they don't usually get compliments. You could tell. Cause I'm telling you, they smell be so big, like, like oh. <laughs> Yes. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit is saying switch the roles, Doran. Yeah, I know what that is. Switch the roles. So um, <laughs> um. <laughs> I guess uh, switch the roles. Okay. Um, I don't know why I'm thinking about costumes. <laughs> you know, switch the roles. One day, bae, I might be a nurse. One day, I might be a police officer. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let him love you naturally in his own way so he can love you your way. Oh, I like that. Spirit said, let him love you naturally in his own way so he can love you your way. Okay, so don't try to control him um how to love you like Oh, you know, I like to be loved this way. You know, um, you got to do this. You got to do this. Oh, oh, if you don't do this, then I know you don't love me. I know you don't love me. Spirit said, uh-uh. Let this man love you his way. 
okay? So he can naturally love you your way. Don't be telling no, and that's, you don't, you know, don't tell nobody how to love you. Don't tell nobody how to love you. Now, but now if a person is mistreating you, that is something different. You know, you, you tell, you know, you, you let a person know, like, you know, I don't like how you made me feel. I don't like what you did. That made me feel uncomfortable. You know, I don't feel good about that. You know, I don't, that don't make me feel good. But telling the person how to love you, no. Because your love language may be totally different. And this, is this um, I keep saying he, but this can go for a woman or man. You know, whoever's watching. Flip-flop the rose, you know there's no gender in tarot. But, you know, uh, what I was going to say, your love language might be totally different from this person's love language. The way you love is not going to be the same as this person love. You know, so Spirit is saying, let this person naturally love you um, their way. And I'm sorry, um, let him love you, let him love you naturally in his own way so he can love you your way. Yeah. Now, when I say be a challenge and, you know, I'm not saying go in the relationship making it hard for somebody. Help to the no. I'm just saying when I say be a challenge, I mean like, um, you know, you're not just the, you know, you're not just easy. That's how I'm looking at it. Be a challenge. Like you're not just one of them easy women, you know, um, Mm -mm. You're not impressed by, you know, the material world and certain things like that. Because let's think about it. Majority of the world, um, you know, uh, uh, most women, if you know, if a man give them their wallet, um, buying them a purse, doing all of that, they got them, you know? Whoever I'm picking up on, Spirit said, you want him, but you don't need him. Um, for a lot of you, what this person can do for you, you can do for yourself. You know, and somebody might see that as a challenge because with or without them, you can already hold it down. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know, so when I say, you know, be a challenge, it's just like, <clears throat> you know, just don't just don't make it easy. Like, you know, with with the what's it how society make it easy for a lot of men and a lot of women that's all but i'm not saying be a challenge to be you know walking in a relationship being difficult you know i know you guys get what i'm saying um it says be the person you want to attract mentally physically and emotionally i love this be the person you want to attract mentally physically and emotionally i love this card um spirit is saying again be the person you want to attract mentally physically emotionally Okay, make sure whoever you want to attract in your life, make sure that you are ready that person. Okay, if you want someone who's headstrong, um, mentally mature, uh, especially emotionally mature, um, level headed, um, make sure you are that as well. Okay, um, physically, if you want, and I'm just, I'm just gonna be honest with you, if you want somebody who you know who who got a six pack, look good. Um, you know, when I say look good, I mean a body look good, they body right. Make sure you physically fit, okay? Make sure your body is up kept. You know, I'm just keeping it 100, you know? Um, and emotionally um, as well, make sure if you want somebody emotionally, um, emotionally available to you, make sure you're emotionally available. So Spirit is saying everything that you want in somebody, make sure you are that right now. Okay, because you only attract who you are. Okay, in some cases. Okay, because sometimes people be out here gaslighting manipulators. A lot of my sussies, you guys are healers, you know. <clears throat> so a lot of people, all types of people be attracted to your goddamn energy, you know. <laughs> um, it says, don't pressure him, let him move at his own pace. So Spirit is saying, don't pressure him. Allow him to move at his own pace. So he said he gonna do something and don't be pressuring him like, you know, I thought you told me you was gonna do this, you gonna do this, you gonna do that. Remember you said you gonna do that? Nah, Spirit said, let him move at his own pace. Yeah. Don't be no nagging. Don't be nagging him. <laughs> I will put one or two more cards on these. It says, be patient when it comes to emotionally investing in someone. So, Spirit is saying, be patient when it comes to emotionally investing in someone. And I feel like this is a great card because you need to make sure you know where a person's mind at, heart is at, 
You know, my head, all of me, make sure that you know where their head is at before you start emotionally investing in someone. Because just because you're hanging around with someone and you dating someone, like I said in the beginning, you don't know if this going to be your husband. You don't know if this going to be your wife. You don't know if this be somebody that you can grow old and gray with or invest in with. You know, stuff like that. Make sure who, you know, you know, you, you be patient and, you know, take things slow with who you invested in your emotions and make sure they did with you too. You don't want to be investing your emotions in someone and they ain't got no plans of giving you that. Okay? Oh, God. <laughs> Spirit said, don't put up with no shenanigans now. It's don't put up with the shenanigans. Oh, okay. Mm. Give me one more Holy Spirit. Thank you. Teach him how to please you sexually and emotionally. Okay. So Spirit is saying, teach him how to... Um, you sexually and emotionally now we all grown here now um over 18 we're all grown now sometimes people will think like oh when they meet someone and you know you guys start dating and you get in a relationship you know because y'all grown you will automatically expect a person to know what to do with your body and that is not always the case that is not always the case okay that is not some people be looking good on the outside, but they don't be knowing what to do in the bedroom, okay? They just don't be knowing, okay? Um, don't be letting nobody, um, be letting nobody, you know, on your body that don't know what they doing, period. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Yeah, what's this? If he's already, oh, yeah, I like this. Spare said, be aware of your own traits and patterns. Okay, so be aware of your own traits and patterns. If you feel like you, um, um, something that's like red flags, like from your past, like if you notice something that some, you know, well, damn, this is going the same way. I, I remember this, I, you know, um, this, this reminds me of something that, um, this reminds me of something that, you know, I, I did or why does this always happen? Spirit is saying, be aware of your own traits and patterns. Okay. Be aware of something that um, constantly could keep happening. Thank you, Spirit. And Spirit is saying, if he is already involved, leave him alone. Okay? Rule 101 for me. Okay? Straight up. And my empress is in divine masculine. Ain't about to play with nobody. Okay? Who's involved? Okay? It says, if he's already involved, leave him alone. Pay attention to his morals, what he values, and his spirituality. That's a big fact. I think, I believe, both of these might be rule 101. Yeah, pay attention to his morals and what he values and his spirituality. That is a, a plus for me. <laughs> okay? Yes. Keep it fresh and interesting. Absolutely. Date with intention. I love that too. Date with intention. Pay attention to his relationship with his family. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pay attention to his relationship with his family. And what's this? And I also feel like um I'm hearing um be non-judgmental. Okay. Yep, yeah, don't let allow your emotions to get the best.